Is there another civilization living inside our Earth's core? If so, would it explain all the mysterious events and unexplained sightings that are being witnessed by thousands of people across the globe? Doesn't it make you wonder why the US government is now publicly disclosing the existence of UAPs? In the past, we might have looked at these things as mere conspiracy theories, but now it begs to wonder if there are untold truths that goes deeper than Alice's rabbit hole, that the general population has been deliberately kept in the dark. Admiral E. Byrd, an iconic explorer who was also the recipient of the Medal of Honor, the highest honor of valor given by the United States, is known for his daring expeditions to the Earth's poles. Said this in his diary, when we accidentally flew into some kind of crater in the ground, my crew and I noticed aircrafts we had never seen before. Human-like creatures met us, but they seem much more developed than people. The president has been advised, I'm now detained and placed under strict control via the national security provisions of the United States of America Act. But it's not his accolades that we're interested in today. He was silenced, but why? What did he see? Let's go deeper into the pages of Bird's Diary, a document shrouded in controversy and cloaked in mystery. In 1947, Admiral Richard Byrd of the U.S. Navy went for a research flight over the North Pole. Byrd flew over it and noticed an unusual spot colored in a mixture of yellow, red, and violet. On approaching the spot, the pilot could see something like a mountain chain. First he thought it was a mirage, then he saw forests, rivers, meadows with animals resembling mammoths. He could also see weird flying machines and a city with buildings built from rock crystal an advanced civilization, miles beneath the Earth's surface, in a realm hidden from our world. He then began to describe weird occurrences. For one, this is the North Pole, and he said the air thermometer scale began lifting and stopped at plus 23. It went from winter to summer in an instant. This was supposedly an impossible temperature for the North Pole. Their radios also suddenly stopped working and some unknown force took control of their plane and landed it. Sounds like a movie, doesn't it? Agartha, as Bird named it, is a veritable paradise. A world within our world, teeming with advanced technology far beyond our current understanding. Its inhabitants, he claims, are a race of advanced beings living in a utopian society hidden beneath the icy desolation of the North Pole. He called it Agartha. I know, it's a strong claim, one that has fueled countless debates and theories. But it all comes from the pages of Byrd's enigmatic diary found in 1996 after his death and his personal belongings. After Byrd's diary was found, the story appeared in newspapers and on television and radio across the United States and Europe, and as far away as Australia. But why is this diary significant? Byrd was not just any regular bagpacking explorer. He was a highly respected figure, a man of science and exploration. His word carried a lot of weight. So, when he speaks of a hidden civilization, of a world beneath our world, it's not something we can dismiss lightly. It's a deep mystery, a breadcrumb on the trail to the unknown. This could rewrite our understanding of history and the Earth itself. Before we get deeper into the mysteries of what Bird called Agartha, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel. Let's continue. Bird explains that after his aircraft was forcefully landed and was being escorted by two disc-shaped aircrafts, he is taken before the master, described as a man with delicate features and with the etching of years upon his face. The master tells Admiral Byrd that he is now in the domain of the Ariani, the inner world of the earth. Now, if that isn't crazy, I don't know what is. As per Byrd, this mysterious being said to him, before the first atomic bombs over Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan, you see, we have never interfered before in your race's wars and barbarity. But now we must, for you have learned to tamper with a certain power that is not for man, namely that of atomic energy. Our emissaries have already delivered messages to the powers of your world and yet, they do not heed. Now you have been chosen to be witness here that our world does exist. He then proceeded to warn him of a dire apocalyptic future for humans if they continue to use the atomic bombs. In the indigenous folklore of the Hopi tribe of North America, for example, there's a belief in an underworld city called Sipapu. Similarly, Celtic mythology speaks of the Seed, an enchanted underground realm inhabited by the Aosi, a supernatural race. But it's not all myths and legends. The existence of hidden subterranean civilizations has tangible evidence. Let's take a journey to Derinkuyu, an ancient underground city in Turkey. 
This is no ordinary city. Burrowed deep into the earth, Derinkuyu is an architectural marvel that could house up to 20,000 people, complete with ventilation shafts, water wells, and even livestock stalls. Imagine this, an entire city, teeming with life, hidden beneath the earth's surface. The builders of Derinkuyu exhibited a level of engineering and architectural sophistication that challenges our understanding of ancient civilization. So what drove these people to go underground? Some suggest it was to escape invaders. Others propose it was due to harsh climatic conditions. But could there be a more profound reason? Could it be an attempt to mimic an even more advanced civilization, hidden deep within the Earth's crust? From the Hopi's Sipapu to the Celts Sidi, from the labyrinthine city of Derinkuyu to the enigmatic Agartha, the idea of subterranean civilizations has captivated human imagination for centuries. It's a thought that teeters between the edge of reality and the realms of fantasy. The existence of Derinkuyu begs the question, if ancient humans could build such a city, could there be more advanced civilizations hidden beneath our feet? The Hollow Earth theory, though long dismissed by mainstream science, has a compelling history. This fascinating concept dates back centuries, with roots in many ancient cultures that believed in an underworld inhabited by mystical beings, but the theory took a scientific turn in the late 17th century with English astronomer Edmund Halley. Yes, the very man who gave us Halley's comet. Halley proposed that the Earth was not a solid sphere, but composed of several concentric shells separated by individual atmospheres, with a luminous core serving as an inner sun. He suggested this model to explain anomalous compass readings, attributing them to the magnetic forces of these separate shells. Over time, the hollow earth theory evolved, with proponents suggesting entrances to this inner world. Some suggested the north and south poles as gateways, inspired by the magnetic anomalies associated with these regions. Others pointed to mysterious locations like the Bermuda Triangle and the Dragon's Triangle, known for their unexplained disappearances and strange phenomena. Could these theories and accounts be mere flights of fancy, or could they be signposts to a hidden truth waiting to be discovered? But Agartha isn't just a product of modern speculation. Ancient civilizations like the Mayans, Egyptians, and Greeks all have myths and legends about underworld realms, suggesting that the concept of Agartha might be rooted in a universal human fascination with what lies beneath. However, despite the captivating theories and historical accounts, concrete proof of Agartha's existence remains elusive. Scientists have yet to find evidence of a vast, technologically advanced civilization hidden beneath the Earth. But absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. If Agartha does exist, its discovery would indeed be a revelation, shattering our perception of the world as we know it.